Hey, so I think I caught a pretty lucky break here in the American Civil War. When the Proud Boys made it to my door, they asked me to demonstrate my value to the cause. I could tell they weren't super impressed when I said I was a YouTuber, so then I said, you know, like PewDiePie, and I could see their eyes just light up. Um, they did ask me to... Uh, I just gotta read this. I have to... Uh, Sleepy Joe is putting microchips in all of the Bang energy drinks that are going to make everyone play stall teams and kiss their dad on the mouth. Well, I was just gonna talk about that anyway. So this is pretty much just Ben Gay's rain team, except instead of the Volcanian, it has the worst Cinderace set of all time, so you can lure Slowbro and Toxapex for Barrascuta with Workup Electro Ball. This is Shock and Ball Torture. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hey, can you tell that I came up with the title of this video first and then reverse engineered everything else? The last two attacks on Cinderace are High Jump Kick and Gunk Shot. You can kind of get away with bluffing Pyro Ball, because it seemed like people were playing like they assumed I still had it, even though it was on a rain team. And I was using Sucker Punch over Gunk Shot for a while, but I do think Gunk Shot is better because it at least gives me a couple of imaginary scenarios where I don't immediately lose to Calm Mind Tapu Fini. I've always been a big fan of rain teams, but man, Barrascuta is just great. I love him. And he definitely has the funniest stat spread in the game since they took Mega Beedrill from me. Tornadus is actually the best Pokemon on this team. Weather Ball and Hurricane in Rain is functionally a better stab combination than fucking Urshifu had. Also, Superpower in the last slot means that Tornadus can lure Tyranitar for Pelipper and lure Blissey for himself. Swampert is a mandatory electric immunity, and Corviknight is a mandatory Rillaboom switch in. I kind of hate both of them because all they do is U turn. At least it does maximize the amount of time that a Barrascuta is in front of me. And I just like looking at him. Oh, and Pelipper of course provides the critical function of pissing and shitting from the same hole. Bird up! Hello. Target locked. So when they led with the Thunderous, I definitely thought they were just going to try to Grass Knot my Swampert, which is why I go into Corviknight here. But I was definitely not expecting them to just go for the worst fucking hedge ever that doesn't cover anything. It definitely did make me think that this was a Zoroark though for like two seconds, so I guess the tactical value of that is existent. Oh, BT dubs, it is eject button on the Corviknight, mostly just to preserve your rain turns, but it also has the cool side effect of delaying how long before you have to confront the fact that none of Corviknight's buttons fucking do anything. I probably shouldn't have let Tornadus get yellow colored by the Blissey, considering that it beats like every other Pokemon on this guy's team. But whenever Blissey triggers my fight or flight instinct, my reptilian brain chooses fight every time. You could not engineer a more perfect scenario than this in a fucking lab environment, with the rain going away making him extra scared of the Pyro Ball on the same turn that I get to set up on a Celesteela Protect. And it's just as simple as that, boys and girls, and tax entities. Briefly press F to pay respect to Pelipper for his sacrifice, and then just win. Just win the game. I would say that my favorite thing about clicking liquidation is probably 
the brief respite it gives me from the horrors of this damned earth. The fish was delish, and it made quite a dish. Cowabunga. Cow a fucking piece of dog shit! So this game begins in typically enterprising Gen 8 fashion. After I bring my Swampert in to eat this Stone Edge, we both have to prove which one of us is the pull-out king by seeing how many turns in a row we can click a fucking momentum move. Look out, everyone! Geniuses at work. When this guy U-turned into the Tapu Koko, I knew he was just going to U-turn again. I was like, hey, you know, you kind of remind me of everyone I've ever played before. I just didn't have the courage to pull the fucking trigger. Once again, I was expecting to get grass knotted here, so when Cinderace ate a Psychic, I was definitely ready to turn in my gun and my badge. Oh, hey, body bag! How's it going? Mouse! 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 I don't think I've ever seen someone get whooped so hard by their own electric terrain. I didn't even have to use workup. Which I feel like should tip people off that some stupid bullshit is about to happen to them, because, like, why would you not be using bulk up? Oh, and that is definitely Choice Banded Brave Bird BT dubs. So I take back whatever I said about this guy, he's actually real as fuck. Stay tuned for 2024 when I make a video using Choice Band Coco to lure Swampert for Choice Band Reggie Ilecki to lure other ground types for. Choice Scarf, Electro Ball, Emolga. Top 5 favorite things about Barrascuta Go. Number 5, the tail means that it has a good idle animation. Number 4, the bones. Number 3, the finnies. Number 2, the mustache. Number 1, everything. The whole goddamn thing. Have you ever been so goddamn fast? Have you ever been faster than this fucking rat before? No. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got. If you ever play against a team that has more than one water resist, you, uh, 